garage. So we got this unit here. Apparently they've had a lot of issues with it where the blower motor will go out. And right now we got, uh, I think six flashes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so six flash here says fan failure. So it's an ECM blower motor. Apparently the blower motor's been changed, the circuit board's been changed, and this issue just keeps occurring. So we gotta see what's going on with it. Um, if I can get this fan going, I'm gonna go ahead and do a static pressure test and see if maybe there's some issues with the ducting. Um, I already checked the filter, it's okay. So, but for some reason the motor keeps having issues. So we're gonna try to use an ECM tester and see if we can get this thing to cycle on. And we'll go from there. So here we go. Okay, so we got our tech inspector thing hooked up. Uh, so you wanna leave the high voltage plug plugged in. And then you're gonna plug in, you're gonna remove that 16 pin and plug that in. And then you're gonna go between R and C to power the switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and restore power. Okay, give it a second. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip this switch here. And our fan should come on. Let's get a get amp draw reading on this thing. All right, so we're getting about 4.6 to 4.8. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and see what it does. Okay, so we got the tester on. Um, when we were watching the amps, we're just, um, we put the door back on because I want it to run under normal operating situations. So, uh, and then I'm gonna make some test ports. We're gonna get a static pressure test on this. Make sure there's no airflow restrictions causing the motor to overheat or something. Our unit's a three ton. This is a four ton air handler. And you can see here that it's blinked off, blinked off, tiny duct. So definitely got an airflow. I have the door off and I'm getting one inch or 1.01 inches of water column. My return stack's pretty high, it's at 0.66. I think the total external static pressure for this unit is gonna be uh, 0.5, which we're way over. That kind of explains why we're burning through uh, blower motors. Although this blower motor seems to be fine, so it looks like it might be a control problem. So, um, I could change the board, but I, I don't know if that's the board. So we're gonna try hooking up the board, see if we can get the fan to run through there. Uh, but yeah, check that out. Okay, we got 0.84 just on our return. Right, yeah. So. But it's definitely too small for this. So it's like you're trying to drink a bunch of water through one of those little coffee stirring straws instead of a big, big one. So yeah, and the supply is a little too small too. So the ducting just may not be sized properly. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect it to the board, see if we can get it to run with the board, and then go from there. Uh, Amdraw has been pretty consistent at 3.8. Uh, I think we can get the log here. Yeah, so it hasn't really been changing much. It's been maintaining. So, I don't know. We'll check the temperature of the motor, see if maybe it's overheating, but uh, everything seems to be fine right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect it to the board and see if I can get it to run with the board, and then we'll go from there. So I'm calling for fan through the board. I got it all reconnected to the board. And it seems to be functioning fine. Uh, the amp draw is a little bit higher, and that's because I have the door off, so the motor's ramping up. So yeah, we're going to just let it run for a little bit and see what it does. So why is the board giving me a failed code for the blower motor when the blower motor obviously works? Well, what's changing is what I'm thinking. What's the difference when I have my tester on there versus that? Well, the uh, harness. Maybe there's something up with this wiring harness. So I'm going to ohm it out and see if we have any issues with it. And uh, yeah, because if there's a problem with this, it could send a false signal saying that there's a problem with the motor and then the board locks out. Especially the fact that the motor and the board has been replaced before. The only thing that hasn't been changed is this. So let's test okay, it so out. We're going to do orange to orange. That's there. There. Okay, so we got 0 0.02, so that one's good. Do red to red. That's the second one here and the middle one there. Okay, that's like perfect. And black white to black white. Black white is third one down. Oh, hello. 
Okay, so that one's a little high, but it's not terrible. Okay, so let's go ahead and do green to green. Okay, green to green. Okay, it's good. So, all of them are pretty low, except for that one, which was the black white to black white. So let's try it again. I tested it early off cam, and it was uh, a lot higher than that. So I wonder if maybe it's a wiggling issue. So I'm going to suggest that we change the wiring harness first and go from there before we change any major parts. All right, next day we got our um, our wiring harness for the blower motor. So we're going to go ahead and change it out. So kill the power. We're going to go ahead and unplug it right here. And we're going to unplug it back there. Or did you just say that? Pull out the high voltage one. And it just routes right through here. Just like that. So let's get that new one in there. Alright, so she's in there. She seems to be running fine. It's at 4.25 amps again. It's because the door's off. Uh, it drops down to like 3.8, I think, when the door's on. So, anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Um, I'll put a comment maybe a couple weeks later just to tell you if this thing actually kept running or not because I'm not 100% sure if it was the the wiring harness but I was getting some weird ohm readings off camera I actually got one ohm on that black and white wire uh, but then after that it seemed to be lower but um, replacing the board replacing the motor just doesn't seem like the right thing to do in this case so I'm gonna go with the wiring harness so anyway, uh, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.